Good morning, everybody. This is Timothy Zelmer from Live Free University in Hotel Central Boquete. Today, we're going to talk about things up there in the sky. Yeah, we're going to talk about why Boquete has so many incredible rainbows and why Boquete has three kinds of rainbows. We have three different kinds. First one is the normal rainbows, and you know the Hotel Central Boquete is there at the base of Rainbow Ridge. You can see it from all around town here in Bajo Boquete because the mayor has the backlit cross up, up on top. Now, we have a very special topography. The environment here is very, very unique, and because of that, we're known as the Valley of Rainbows. Now, what causes this high rate of rainbows is a few things because of the fact that Panama looks like a snake laying on its back. To the north is the Caribbean, the Atlantic Ocean, to the south, the Pacific, and we're actually here at the skinniest part of the isthmus, the narrowing between nor North and South America. Now, the fact is we're <clears throat> We're just, <clears throat> we're just 26 miles from salt water both sides. We're just 26 miles from salt water both sides of where we're at. To the north on the Caribbean is a lot of warm, full of energy type air. And we have these two phenomena, nortes or sureños. Wind blowing from the north or wind blowing from the south. And that sets up a situation where we can get incredible rainbows. The bowl, where we're at, turning around here and looking, it's, there's mountains all around us. And here we are with the sun coming up in just a little bit over the eastern ridge. The sun rises in the ridge and it's gonna warm up these mountains and Rainbow Ridge, you can see it up there in the morning it's going to be the warmest part because it's flat it takes a lot of sun it warms up and when you get the wind blowing from the north it'll build up great big thunderheads that's where the the rainforest happens the cloud forest is when the the tops of those clouds blow out and you get mist and in Boquete that mist has a nickname because we get a lot of sunshine mist. And they call that Baja Reque. Baja Reque is a very interesting phenomena because on the eastern slope where the sun is slowest to hit, it's colder. And you know how a cold glass full of ice water will have condensation on that side? Buen dia, amigo. That's what's happening on the eastern side. The mist stays condensed. It stays as moisture, not as vapor. The mist, when it comes in on the west side, where it's warmer, you'll end up seeing that there's less vapor, or there's less moisture. It decondenses, it goes back into vapor, and that's why the western side is called the blue hole. It's warmer, it's much less moist. It tends to have this opening above us, it's blue sky above us. And on this side over here, the mountains to the east, you can see. See those clouds coming in right there? And over here, it's like it's, it's stopping. Right there, it's gonna start decondensing. It looks like when I was in Montana, like a blizzard's rolling into town. I had a hard time stopping grabbing my parka. So, on the west side, being warmer from the morning sun, that's what's going on. So, we get this cool phenomena where we get the most awesome rainbows in the afternoons and in the mornings where the clouds will be on the eastern side rolling in 
and then this Baja Reque. So like in the afternoons, we get doubles, we get triple rainbows. We get awesome, complete rainbows where from the inside to out, it's nonstop rainbows. It's nonstop. So that's the main kind of rainbow you're gonna see here. Morning rainbows, afternoon rainbows, around four or five. Look for those rainbows, especially downtown in Baja Boquete. Yeah, they're really beautiful. Now, we've got two other kinds of rainbows I wanna talk about. The second one is fire rainbows. And we have one of the rarest of the rarest types of these circum horizontal arcs. It's a class of rainbows usually seen along the horizon over 50 degrees away from the sun. This is where sun dogs come from. Uh, the, these irises around uh, the moon and sun sometimes. They're formed from ice crystals, but we have this thing here where it's a waterfall, a waterfall of fire rainbow. And let me explain that. Because the volcano, Volcano Baru, is to the west, and when the sun is setting towards the west, unlike a normal rainbow when the sun is on your back and in front of you is the rainbow, it's exactly opposite where you're looking towards the sun at a 50 plus degree angle from the sun. And because when the Nortes come in with a lot of energy, we build up a huge, a huge thunderhead. Wendy, a huge thunderhead above Volcano Baru. It's over 11,000 feet high. And we're down on the eastern slope, about three and a half thousand feet. So what happens, good morning boys. So we, we have a phenomena here where this thunderhead can build up and up and up and up over 60, even 100,000 feet high. And at that altitude, that moisture, that condensation, it turns into ice. Ice crystals, flat horizontal ice crystals that act as prisms and then if there's even faster winds up above, it'll blow the top of the top of those thunderheads out. And it looks like, and check out these images, I got some great pictures of fire rainbows, the rarest of the rarest. Uh, I took these images you're looking at right now with my mother-in-law and my oldest brother-in-law from our backyard. She told me, she said, Timmy, nobody's gonna believe this. You better go get your good camera. And it looks like a waterfall of rainbows. A waterfall of rainbows. And I've checked on the internet. This is an exceptionally rare situation here. Very, very incredible. Hard to believe and super rare. Even here, very rare. But the conditions are set up perfect for fire rainbows. And it looks like plasma cascading down the slopes of that thunderhead to the, to the south side. And as the ice is rolling behind the thunderhead, the angle of the bright sun and the prisms of those ice crystals create fire rainbows. Super cool. Now, we've got one other kind of rainbow that I've researched and it is real. They are lunar rainbows. Same setup. Behind me, we get full moon setting. Baja Reque, this sunshine, well, moonshine mist in the eastern side and the blue hole in the west. No moisture, it still stays warm over here. Well, my wife, this is years ago. She's up getting breakfast ready for our boy. He's going to school early, taking the bus. And she comes and wakes me up. Timmy, there's something wrong. There's something going on in town. You gotta look at this, there's something going on. So I jump out of bed, come out the front door, and she goes, what is that? It's like, is that gas? You know, we live on a volcano. Is that gas? Is like a, a gray cloud or like a dome of cloud? And I go, I don't know what that is. That is super weird. And she's there 
making breakfast. My eyes are starting to adjust to the dark. We turn off all the lights. We stand outside and our eyes slowly adjust. And over the next 15 minutes, we get a lunar rainbow. Only, there's no morning light coming from the sun. It's hidden behind the ridge. Stars are out. The moon is setting behind us. We're getting a full lunar rainbow. And it rises. Rises from this gray cloud slowly up, forming a beautiful rainbow from just the full moon. Because remember, the moon is in that humid air up above the volcano behind me. And it's acting like a lens to make the moon look much, much bigger than normal. So this giant full moon and the mist to the west and the open air on the west side are creating these incredible, hard to believe, lunar rainbows. And I took pictures and they couldn't see what we could see with the human eye. I took picture after picture with all my cameras and it was only because of the sensitivity of our own eyes adjusting to the dark, our pupils opening wider and wider, that we were able to enjoy an event of lunar rainbows. So yeah, Boquete has three kinds of rainbows. It's amazing. I love this town. And I'm here to help. You know, we help relocators move to Boquete from all over the world here at Hotel Central Boquete. And if you're needing to make a little bit of money, so you can bring your grandkids up here, or do some more traveling, your pension won't cover it. We have this thing at Live Free University where we teach people how to make, make money, do business online. So give us a call. My name is Timothy Zelmer, and we're glad you're here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.